The spleen is located in the upper part of the stomach and under the ribs on the left side of the body and contains white blood cells and is about the size of a fist. The spleen is one of the important parts of the immune system. The immune system consists of a group of organs that protect you from infections and control the number of body fluids and damaged cells. Now, if you want to know how you can normalize your spleen function by eating natural foods, you should watch the video until the end because we are going to be sharing with you the top 10 foods for this purpose. Before we continue with the list, make sure to subscribe to Healthy Lab and turn on the notification bell to help us grow. Every subscriber is much appreciated. So, let's start. 10. Water. Drinking approximately 8 to 10 glasses of water per day can ensure the health of the spleen. Your spleen needs fluids to function properly. The research done in this field shows that when you don't drink enough water, the body loses water, food digestion slows down, and the spleen does not have the ability to purify the blood and remove toxins accumulated in the body. Foods that have sufficient amounts of water include peaches, plums, oranges, tomatoes, watermelons, celery, cucumbers, and lettuce. Dehydration can also slow down your spleen, so when you start drinking enough water again, your spleen has to work harder to catch up. 9. Mushrooms. Adding mushrooms to the meal improves the health of the spleen. Experts believe that mushrooms are rich in beta-glucan, which boosts the number of immune cells in the spleen, slows or reverses tumor growth, and decreases the risk of some cancers. Traditional Chinese medicine practitioners utilize this mushroom for the spleen and its connection with digestion, energy, and water regulation. They also utilize these medicinal mushrooms as a tonic for stress-related diseases and lack of energy. 8. Raw Fruits and Vegetables Eating raw fruits and veggies can maintain your spleen functioning at an optimal level. Raw fruits and vegetables such as apples, cherries, raspberries, strawberries, and broccoli that are rich in vitamins, minerals, and enzymes can detoxify your body. Improve spleen function, help digestion and strengthen your immune system. It is necessary to ingest these foods in their natural form because cooking them eliminates nutrients. Vegetable oils also can be useful for normalizing spleen function. Healthy cooking oils such as vegetable oils and olive oil strengthen the immune system. 7. Antioxidants. Vegetables include antioxidants, which are nutrients that strengthen the body's immune system and protect cells from free radical damage. Free radicals are potentially dangerous chemicals in the body. According to the National Cancer Institute, antioxidants lessen the changes caused by developing cancers by neutralizing free radicals. Antioxidants also boost the immune system, so you can better deal with viral and bacterial diseases. In this way, antioxidants are good for the spleen because of blood cancers and infections. Bacteria are one of the reasons for abnormal enlargement of the spleen. Vitamin C is also an antioxidant, meaning it is a substance that fights damage from free radicals to every part of the body. All fruits and veggies have some vitamin C. Kale, Brussels sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, broccoli, spinach, beets, and peppers are among the veggies rich in antioxidants. In general, dark green leafy vegetables are excellent sources of antioxidants. 6. Ginger. Ginger can help nutrient absorption and help treat problems related to the spleen because the spleen sometimes has trouble absorbing minerals and nutrients to strengthen the body, resulting in inflammation and enlarging size. Ginger will control these problems. Adding ginger to your meal can help you achieve or keep a healthy spleen. Ginger is rich in enzymes that support the body digest proteins, decreasing inflammation, boosting the body's immune system, and helping in the body's detoxification process. Chinese medicine believes that ginger is a mild sweet spice with warm features that help enhance the spleen and digestive system's functions. It can accelerate metabolism, control blood sugar, decrease cholesterol levels, and enhance digestion. In Chinese medical terms, it supports the spleen and disperses food accumulation. 5. Chili Pepper One of the best home remedies to get rid of splenomegaly is to use pepper. Chili peppers can have many health benefits as they contain vitamins and minerals and will also kill malaria fever. It reduces disorders related to the spleen because pepper contains a natural antioxidant that strengthens the body's immune system and makes a person's general health better and better. If you use vitamin C regularly, you can eliminate free radicals and other toxic substances in the body, and the condition heals your spleen. Chinese medicine believes that the spleen organ system is involved in the digestion tract and transportation of food in the body. If your body is impacted by excessive dampness, it will influence your spleen function. 
Chili can therefore help the spleen to rid the body of dampness, improve the metabolism of food and make bowel movements more comfortable. This is why some people have found chili to be practical in weight loss. 4. Oily fish. Eating oily fish about three times a week will keep your spleen healthy. Oily fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are unsaturated and healthy fatty acids, and are useful in reducing body inflammation and helping the spleen to purify itself from toxins. Other foods that have omega-3 fatty acids include flax seed and flax seed oil, canola oil, soybeans, soybean oil, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seed oil, walnuts, and walnut oil. As oily fish has long-chain omega-3 fatty acids, it can help to prevent heart disease. It is also necessary for pregnant or breastfeeding women it can support a baby's nervous system development. 3. Vitamin B12. This is a vitamin your body requires for neurological function, synthesis of the DNA cells, and even red blood cell production. If you do not get sufficient vitamin B12, your body creates abnormal red blood cells. According to the New York Times website, this damages the spleen because the spleen works like a recycling center for red blood cells. Aged and damaged red blood cells attach to the spleen sinusoids when blood distributes through the spleen. The spleen purifies the cells and produces healthy blood cells for the body, but the bad cells remain in the spleen so that iron and other valuable components can be reused. The spleen must function harder to process if there are too many unnatural cells due to a vitamin B12 deficiency. 2. Pistachio. According to many health practitioners, making nuts like pistachios a part of your everyday eating is connected with a reduced risk of death from cancer, heart disorder, and respiratory infection. Pistachios and other nuts like hazelnuts, walnuts, and almonds are a mainstay of the healthy Mediterranean diet. Studies link this type of diet to some of the highest life expectancies and lower heart disease rates all over the world. They are rare also an excellent source of protein especially for those who are vegans and vegetarians, with about 6 grams in 1 ounce. You don't have to consume a lot of pistachios to reap the advantages. But beware, their buttery, rich flavor causes them easy to overindulge in. Pistachios also have other nutrients like vitamin B6, which stimulates blood flow by supporting to carry of oxygen through the bloodstream to cells. Vitamin B6 also boosts immune and nervous system health. 1. Honey According to the doctrines of traditional Chinese medicine, honey has sweet and neutral properties, which are associated with the lung, spleen, large intestine, and stomach meridians. Its major functions are to purify the spleen and stomach, restore qi, and contain dryness. It is usually added to herbal preparations to make them taste better and be easier to ingest. The amount of honey you can take depends on the condition being treated. There are no set medicinal doses for honey usage. Still, some practitioners suggest that people eat between 15 and 70 grams of honey per day to improve general health and wellness and to promote the operation of the immune system. If the spleen fails to react to a good diet, it may be overburdened by other factors like stress, insufficient activity, excessive anxiety, illness, or a climate or environment that is too damp. The major signs of poor spleen function are indigestion, fatigue, cold limbs, loose stools, and edema. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.